The Congress of the South African Students will stage a protest in the Santon CBD today. A memorandum will be handed over to George Lee Park. In a statement, Corsas said they are expecting around 2,500 people to join the march. Traffic is expected to be affected around the Santon CBD area from 10 o'clock this morning until 3 p.m. this afternoon. Corsa students were involved in the disruptions at the University Johannesburg's Dornfontein campus on Monday when they attempted to block roads. Exchange leadership is coming to actually fetch the memorandum which will be fetched at um, Senton Central Park. So we're going to be moving here as soon as everyone is here. We're going to move towards um, um, Senton Central Park where we're going to deliver the memorandum to the Johannesburg State uh, Stock Exchange leadership. I can firstly assure that it's going to be very peaceful. We are not here to fight with anyone, uh, but we are only here uh, to say that two companies that are listed to the Johannesburg Stock Exchange must contribute towards our education, which South Africa has declared as a priority. So that is the only thing that we are here to do. Um, we will never uh, be violent. Now joining us live is Giovanni Majani from Santon. A very good afternoon to you, Giovanni. Now, uh, what is it like there in Santon? Have they arrived yet? And what is the purpose of this march? The purpose of this march is to receive funding for pre-tertiary education and COSA has come out and asked the JSE to aid the students, especially those from obviously yeah. less privileged areas. We know that there are students from Mamelodi, Shoshanguve, Soweto and the likes, especially in GP. But there are also those from other provinces who have come out and together as pre-tertiary students, they have come out and they are standing together for the free education and quality education that they want. With me, I have Benedict Palani, who's just going to tell us a bit more as the leadership of COSA. So thank you for joining us. Just tell us, we've seen that the students have left the George Lea Park and they are making their way to uh, Santon Central Park. What now from here? Well, yeah, thanks for, for having me. Uh, firstly, you would know there have been uh, many protests of uh, fees must fall and everything. And then as COSAs, we, we took a stand that we will also join and uh, make sure that all all our pre-tertiary students and uh, including the tertiary higher institution, uh, they are, we, we, we speak in one voice. Uh, from here, we go into the Central Park to meet with the JSE leadership to give them a memorandum of demands. So we understand that uh, there are a number of students. Can you give us a rough number of the students that you think there are? And how will it be controlling them as they take their journey to the Central Park? We, we, we have marshals. Uh, we have 400 marshals all in all. And uh, we have 2,500 2, pupils who are in the park already who are, who are going to the Central Park. Yes. So what are the hopes of handing over the memorandum to the JSE leadership? Because we know that things take time, but when would you like to see the assistance, especially of funding in pre-tertiary education? Well, yes, things, they take time. And as part of our one billion campaign, um, what we want to see, we would want to see JSE uh, and these other companies contributing into the struggle of black children, contributing to black education, and making sure that each and every student in South Africa, uh, they are well funded, they go to school, they do not have any uh, excuse of say, staying at home, saying that they do not have funds. Well, it, as part of this one, one billion uh, campaign, we are simply pleading with the JSE that they must uh, come on board work with us as students and make sure that they contribute to the, towards the future of South Africa. So we've also seen that obviously university students are going forward with the Fees Must Fall movement and when they come together violence seems to follow them. So uh, with the students now who are pre-tertiary, uh, are the police cooperating with you and will it be a peaceful walk? Yes, uh, it's going to be a peaceful walk. We met with the JOG committee which they gave us an approval letter. Uh, that's why you see there, there's police and metropolis all over. And uh, they are complied, they are working together with our marshals. Yes.
So since the morning, we have had times that it will start at 10 and it started at 1 and there has been delays. So can you just give us um, a way forward and in terms of communication of time? Well, uh, remember we are dealing with students. They are from schools and buses have to fetch them. Some, they are not sure whether they should go or not. Friends, peer pressure and all those things. But well, uh, for future reference, you have to speak to the SGO in terms of communications, in terms of time and venues. Yes. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. As we've heard, the students have left uh, George Lea Park and they are making their way to uh, Santel, Santin Central Park. Excuse me. They will be handing over a memorandum to the JSE leadership in hopes of receiving funding for pre-tertiary education as the tertiary students also strive for their free education mission. Well, thank you very much, Giovanni, there in Santon, uh, basically monitoring the situation.